Hey, Taris, how y'all doing? I'm just doing some Palo Santo here, yeah, for the good energy. Something told me to turn this on, I don't know why. But let's just see what's going on with Taurus. So, let's see. Minera, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus, remember, I'm reading for you, but I could be picking up a third party, a cross watcher, where somebody's surrounding your energy, okay? So you can flip the roles if you want to. Let's just see what's going on with Taurus. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Somebody's going through it. Somebody's trying to get their confidence back here. With the Eight of Swords in reverse here. Hmm. And the Nine of Swords just flew out. So yeah, somebody here might just be going through it. Let's just see. Give me Taurus's energy at this time. Minera. Give me Taurus's energy this time. The Five of Cups. Somebody is haunting, getting haunted here by a loss, or somebody's going through it here. Somebody here is um, in regret, or they're going through it. Something here is is a loss. That's why the Nine of Swords flew out. This came out in reverse. So somebody here is not even moving. This could be you, this could be your person, this could be anybody, but somebody here has stopped moving. There's no movement here. Or somebody could just be like very shut down or you're waiting for a phone call or a message or it's like something's not moving here. It's the Eight of, of uh, Wands. It's like somebody's not moving or getting up. Are you going through something here? Taurus or something is making you sad or lonely or depressed? Because somebody's haunted by a loss here. Somebody's suffering here about somebody here. Let me see. What else for Taurus's energy here? Somebody stopped here. Somebody gave up on somebody here. It's like you probably don't want to do it. Again, yeah, it's like the sun card is in reverse. Somebody's not happy here. You're not happy for some reason here. There's the magician in reverse with the nine of swords upright, the eight of swords upright. So there is something going on here, Taurus, in your energy where something is not being fulfilled is either abundance stability in your home or it's just you're not happy at this moment but there is a loss here with somebody here you know what the magician in reverse is like there's a punishment here hmm. there's manifestation punish punishment somebody can't manifest something here this is why the Eight of Wands is in reverse. Like, there's no movement. Like, everything stopped here. The Eight of Swords? Somebody has self-doubt here? Somebody's doubting themselves. And I feel like because, so you're, because somebody's making you unhappy here to the point where even the Magician card came out in reverse. What else here for Taurus here? This could be somebody, too, that's going through it and they're not happy and you're not happy with this person because they keep on you putting you through shit or pick your side, whatever it is. But there is no movement here. There is somebody getting punished here with their manifestation. They're, gonna, they're not going to move. It's like a spirit. It's like spirit is, is punishing somebody here and not letting somebody manifest something here. They caused somebody's... Uh, they took somebody's happiness away here. What else here for Taurus? Mineira. Hmm. That came out on the fence. The fool. So, it's like somebody here likes to walk around and it's like they like to jump the leap of faith. They like to like keep moving over and over again and just like 
it's like they don't suffer the consequences. It's like freedom, but it's like fearless beginnings. So somebody here doesn't want to continue. It's like somebody doesn't want to commit or be in a commitment. Or they just keep on going. And whatever gets in their way is what it is. You feel me? Like the fool, when it keeps on going, they don't have consequences. The judgment card almost came out of reverse. So this karma, it, it, it just came out almost in reverse. So there's karma here that somebody's serving here. Taurus, you could be serving some karma right now for something here. The two of pentacles here. My cat just had surgery. She's heavy trying to get in the closet. The ace of swords here. So somebody's getting some truth and clarity about something here. The knight of pentacles. You got to have patience to succeed here. But there's something here about setting priorities here with somebody here that... You might just find out, you, you need to find out something here, the spirit is saying here. There's negative consequences here, bro. What the fuck? This could be you, Taurus, so you get a negative uh, consequence right now. You might have been going through a karmic cycle right now of something from the past, because we all do. But I don't feel like you're happy with somebody here. And I feel like somebody's very negative here. Or their consequences cause a lot of negativity here. Somebody's jumping around and they don't give a fuck about their consequences. And they're going to get some consequences for that. They're very negative. Somebody here is very negative. They don't move. It's like they sit there and cry all day long. It's like playing victim is what I'm seeing here. Hmm. Let me see what else your guitar is. Hold on one second. Wednesday. Hold on. My cat had surgery yesterday, a big one. So let me try to get her where she wants to go. Hold on. Okay, Taurus, my bad. Yeah, my cat. You don't understand what I did with my cat yesterday. I feel so guilty about what happened with my cat. For some reason, all my cats are neutered. And for some reason, I thought she wasn't neutered. And that kept on replaying in my head. And then I said, nah, she's neutered. I neutered her. But there was so much shit going down here in my house with people throwing voodoo at my ass, which uh, it was a Taurus, by the way, um, just to like, just because they watch my channel. And yeah, I sent full force some crazy shit over their way. Um, and this is probably this Taurus that I'm picking up. They're not happy. You know, they're going through it right now. It's like they have negative consequences and spirit is stopping all their manifestations. Yeah, it just came out at the right time when my cat was trying to jump there because she has an earpiece not to touch her surgery. Um, and she had nothing. So that was weird that I thought that my cat was not spayed when I spayed all my cats and I took her. And then when I get to the vet, they don't have no records on her, which that is impossible. And they open her up and the vet calls me in the middle of the surgery and tells me she doesn't have a uterus. And I go, what? What do you mean she has a uterus? What the fuck are you talking about? He's like, no, she don't have the uterus. Like, it's not even my incision. I go, what do you, what do you mean it's not your incision? You're the only one that takes care of my animals. So he was like, do you give me permission to keep on digging? So the incision was not only like one inch how they usually do. It was like this big. So... When it was finally over, there's somebody in that place that isn't my religion. And they told me, you know they're throwing shit at you. And I go, yeah, I know. And that's what happened. So this bitch Taurus that is not my collective. is somebody I know personally. This is why you're going through this. You ain't happy. And you're never going to be happy. Because you're a bad person. You know, you got negative consequences. The magician came out of reverse, meaning spirit is punishing you. Spirit is not letting you move and manifest. And this is the way you are all day long in the Five of Cups. Sad, lonely, when nobody, not moving. You know, people are jumping the leap of faith right in front of your face, doing it right in front of your face. And it's like, you know, you've hurt people so bad that that's the the consequences and the punishment from spirit and from my muerta and from my negra. So that's for somebody else. And thank you, mi negra. That my cat was struggling right now because my cat was fine until right now for that confirmation to come through. But for, that's for somebody else. So this is continue for the rest of the Tauruses. Yeah, and don't, 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 don't even call me or don't even come in here or don't even listen. I don't give a fuck what you think, what you say, what the fuck, because you're always a motherfucking victim. And I'm talking to somebody I know. Like, I don't give a fuck. You know my negra don't play. You seen the shit that my negra is capable of doing when they fuck with me and my children. So whatever the fuck you're doing over there, keep your damn self over there with your lonely fucking pathetic ass. 
You're cheating ass. You're fucking, you're not even a good mother, bro. And you know what? Like, you deserve everything you're going to get. But let's just keep on going with the rest of the Tauruses. You know what? This was for her. So let's just do it again. Even though it's going to be a long reading. Because I don't feel like this is for you, Taurus. It could be. It could be that you're going through it with somebody. But let's just see me negra. Give me something on the collective. Taurus collective. Más feliz fue esa negra todos los días de mi vida. Gracias, mi negra. Luis, pero eso para ti. Okay, so the Ace of Cups, yeah. You're being loved, the Taurus, here by somebody. Or you're going to receive love. Or there's something that's very emotional here that you're feeling at this time here for someone or for anything. It could be anything. Or you're just having a good time. But I feel like you're feeling emotional here about somebody here. The Page of Swords. So there's a solution here. Or you're being strate strategic at this time, you know, with whatever it is that you're trying to build here. Give me a second. Alize, my bad, y'all, that I had to do that, but... You know, it's like I always tell everybody, spirit works in mysterious ways. Your ancestors, your guides, your spiritual team, your angels, God, whatever it is that you believe in, they work in ways where they make you see things in a certain way. Like, my cat was all right the whole time. At this moment, she climbed through here and she was stuck. She was about to fall down and literally open her incision. And this was just a message like I heard yesterday from her. Say what you got to say and don't give a fuck. Because I usually stay quiet. I just stay quiet and keep it to myself. But my bad. I'm sorry for that. But that was a confirmation. That was something that somebody needed to hear. But let's continue with Taurus here. Sitting lovely here. Drinking their wine. You know, whatever it is that you do. But you're sitting lovely here. Let me see. Taurus. What else here? Give me Taurus' energy. Mi negra. Esa negra mía. The Six of Pentacles. So somebody here is generous. They're trying to give you something. Or you're being generous at this time to yourself. You might be loving yourself. Look at the Sun card upright. That's beautiful. Look at the Eight of Wands that was in reverse. Beautiful. Look at the Five of Cups. Like, look at the Star card. Beautiful. Like, yeah, the messages came through for somebody else. You know, I feel like you're sitting in your abundance right now. I feel like you're feeling, you know, a little bit more happier at this time. You might have been done. You might just need to get moon water. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Collect some moon water. You don't always have to collect moon water on a full moon. You could do it in a crescent moon. You could do it in the dark moon. Just let that water sit down there and let the energy of the moon. Because remember, the moon is somewhere on earth, somewhere else. So the, the energy is still going to pick it up. Someone needs to collect moon water here. You could drink it. You could use it to cleanse yourself. You could use it to clean however you do it. But somebody needs moon water here. Or a lot of you do. here for somebody here. You know, somebody's going to be generous. I feel like because I sent my photo phone with Chung here, there is something here that somebody's been wanting for a very long time. And it's about stability here. Or it could be something here that you've done so generous. You've done something generous towards someone here. And I feel like that deity, which is the crown on my head, is going to repay you for that. You might just be somebody that gives a lot in your job or puts your own effort or wastes your own money to put things there, whatever it is. And somebody hasn't appreciated that. Or it could be even in your home. Like you give or you gave and didn't appreciate that. You're going to get a blessing for that, Taurus. Let me see. That's not for you, bro. That's for the, the rest of the Tauruses. Let me see. Ochun don't even like you. Hmm. Let's just let me just stay quiet. And if you want to talk about it, we can do it live here on YouTube. And I'll say everything you've done, girl. You got me fucked up. Let me see what else here for Taurus. I can't. Like I can't. My name is saying in the back. Allo. Like do it, do it, do it. The Empress is gonna fall out. So this is Libra and Taurus energy. You might just be hitting the Empress energy. Let me see what else here for Taurus is energy. temperance so, so you you are balancing out your life there is patience and balance here so you're having patience on something that's coming your way somebody's going to give you something or offer you something this could be a new job a new opportunity for you that's going to be great for you that's it's going to be sometime maybe in the next full moon is what i just heard 
next full moon you know you got the eight of uh pen you got my bad you got the eight of pentacles here so you are working hard you are doing things you you know it's like you're an expert in something here so you might have like um a career or you want to start a career or there's uh, there's there's some type of job that you are an, an expert in or whatever it is you could be an expert in doing whatever but there's something that you're going to be re rewarded here uh okay mercury retrograde don't get in my way right now it's like you've been having patience for some for a reward here it's coming and it has to do with work or money or business or whatever it is but somebody's gonna hand you something here that's gonna be good for you that you've been waiting for let me see Taurus what else here for Taurus the high priestess you know you could be sitting in the high priestess energy very intuitive sitting back watching everything how it unfolds not even it's like you're very quiet here for some of you Taurus is here you know, the Queen of Cups in the bottom of the deck, very intuitive, very compassionate, the Queen of Pentacles here. So you might be you might just be standing in full blown abundance right now, Taurus. With money, doing yourself, doing your hair, you know, doing you know, going out, buying your clothes, you know, for the guys, whatever it is, doing yourself, looking good, smelling good. There is women here smelling good, looking good, doing themselves. I feel like you're loving yourself more. Like, I feel like you're giving more compassion to yourself. Intuitively, this is what spirit is giving me. But you're peaceful and abundant right now. And if you're not, it's coming in. Because I feel like some of you Tauruses are just in your energy. Just fanning yourselves right here. But you, you are in some type of way with money. You need to get some rest here for some of you. I'm getting that. You need to get some rest here. But for what I'm seeing here, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition because I feel like you are giving yourself a lot of love, a lot of compassion. You're very, you're being very patient. You're balancing out your life here. And I feel like you're going to get a reward from something here because you've been following your intuition. So if you've been following the spirit and doing the right thing. And whatever, it doesn't have to be spirit. You're just doing the right thing. And you're doing the right things for others. You're getting rewarded here. And I'm going to say, my Ochun again. Some of you might be daughters or sons of Ochun. Look up Ochun, O S H U N. That is a deity crowned in my head for some reason. Somebody here might be a lord to her or might be a son and daughter of hers. But she's going to reward you with something here. Ochun. You've given a lot here, and you're standing in your power, and I feel like in your job, whatever's going on in your job, because I see a problem in a job here, you're going to you're gonna win here. Let me see. What else is here for um, Taurus? Yeah, somebody here is getting wiser, or it's growing up, or somebody here is very young, and it's like their mind is more advanced like you could be 25 let's just say you're 21 and you're you you have a mind of a 40 year old and it doesn't mean that you're old it just means that you're getting wiser there's a there's a king of cups here that doesn't stop watching you it's like they're trying to manifest you and i feel like there's somebody here that that you have like a little something something going on here is that they want to jump the leap of faith to you. And this person is very stable here. So you might just be dealing with somebody here that wants to come in and offer you something here. And, you know, there might be a soulmate. I don't know. But let's continue. I feel like um, somebody here is getting wiser or is thinking wiser right now. Did something turn around? Because I'm not even looking at the cards. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's getting wiser and doing themselves and looking pretty and looking good and looking handsome while somebody's here is stuck yeah somebody's stuck let's just see what else here for Taurus somebody's stuck they can't move they can't do shit yeah they're all over the place stuck they're they're heartbroken they're wounded they're stuck like they don't let those walls down they don't even they can't even see around them somebody here can't see around them somebody chooses here not to see around them they know what the fuck they're doing and this is why they're hurt 
for their own consequences here. So somebody's hurting over you or stuck over you or thinking about you. This is two Libra. This is two Libra cards. So you could be dealing with Libra here. I'm not saying signs, okay? I'm just going with the flow this week, not saying signs. But this is Libra and Libra. What the fuck? You might have heard of Libra. Or might try to get a Libra stuck. And I'm going to laugh at this right now. Because this bitch try to get me stuck. And it don't work bro. It don't work. Like you know my guys don't fucking play. But somebody's stuck here. They thinking about you man. They praying on you. Somebody here Taurus. You're either in a commitment or a marriage here. But somebody wants commitment and marriage with you here. And I feel like because of uh, different beliefs. or to, You might just be getting married in a traditional way here with somebody here this is for some of you Tauruses here I feel like you've been waiting for that let me see what else here for Taurus but somebody here is very hurt they it's like it's like they want to reach out but they can't but I feel like somebody's maturing up here and not taking the bullshit you feel me let me see what else here for Taurus Mineira So they come out together. The will of fortune moving forward. Fate is in your favor. The queen of pentacles here. Beautiful energy. You know, you're going to be abundant or you're already abundant. You're, you're good with your money. There is a lot of emotions here though. You know, the will of fortune could either move this way or that way. So you're getting good karma here. And for some people, they're getting bad karma. And this is why they're fucked up right now. And they're stuck and they're broken and they're fucked up thinking about you because you're doing yourself while they fucked you up. Well, you know what? They could stay over there. Fucked up. Let me see. What else here? What else here? For Taurus. I see you moving very, very slow, very patient. I feel like somebody here likes to dance or um, your child or your daughter or your, your son or whatever it is they like to dance. They're in that field or something. They're going to be doing good. I'm seeing something yellow and red here on my mind's eye. So I don't know that means something, somebody like a, somebody wearing red, but there's like some, something going gold around it. I don't know what that means. I'm just seeing it. Yeah, the Five of Swords came out. So somebody here likes to fight. They don't stop the fighting, the gossip, the he say, the he say. It's like somebody here is like always in the he say. Oh, God. Mercury Retrograde has me stuck. He say, she say. Fighting. Trying to get people in trouble. Trying to get you in trouble. Or whatever it is for you. But somebody here is very emotional because somebody here is fucking shit up. Trying to, that's why they're getting bad karma and you're getting good karma. Or this is the other way around. The cross watcher is getting good karma. And somebody here is getting bad karma. But there's a lot of fighting going on here. Yeah. A lot of fighting here. Fighting yourself. The five of wands. The ten of wands. Somebody's going through here really, really bad. Whoever the fuck here has messed with you is going not only they're stuck... They're going through a lot of pain here. They can't move. It's like they try to say that they've, they've grown, but they haven't grown because all they do is fight. All they do is make you fight. And they're carrying burdens up the ass. And this is probably why they're making you... Look, the sun card is in the... In, in, listen, you're doing lovely here. You're happy, Taurus, where you're at. You're abundant. But this person is like... Is a person that likes to argue and fight. That's all they like to do is gossip, argue, fight, backstab. You know what I mean? It's like, there's no talking with somebody here. Why is this page of cups in reverse? And there it goes, to the floor. To the flow, to the flow, to the flow. I'm in that energy today. I'm doing card today. So it came out like this. See, the world card. So, yeah, somebody's moving forward here. There's a cycle to be ended here with somebody here. And you're walking away from this. Or somebody's walking away from this. There's a cycle here with somebody here. Somebody you've been dealing with here that 
This is the Eight of Cups walking away. This is the Lover's card right here. And the Five of Wands here. And somebody here is into their feeding. So somebody here is going to end something with somebody here. Because of all the fighting and all the drama and all the shit going around them. Somebody doesn't want the drama anymore. It doesn't want... You know, all that shit going on around them. They just want to move on and complete the cycle and keep on moving for new beginnings. So this could be you, Taurus, or this could be the cross watcher. Let's see. Why is it two of swords here? Veneta. For Taurus. Yeah. Somebody here always says they're going to stop fighting. They're going to stop the drama. They're going to start the he say, she say. They're going to stop the, the gossiping. They're going to stop fighting, whatever the fuck it is. But they don't stop. It's like this is why they're stuck. But somebody here doesn't want this anymore. Somebody's out of here. Somebody doesn't want it anymore. And this could be you. You're sitting like the queen of pentacles here. You got your own money. You know how to get it. You know how to make it. You're looking pretty. You're smelling good. You know, you're looking handsome. And you're feeding yourself here. Let's just see. Somebody here says they've changed, but they haven't changed. Don't let them fool you. Three of Swords. For Taurus here. Yeah, somebody's working very hard here while they're doing themselves. So you could be a hard worker, you could be working right now, whatever it is. But somebody here that works very hard for their money and, you know, brings the shit to the table. And there's somebody here that has been hurting somebody here severely. This is why there's no change here. Somebody says they're always going to change. Somebody says they're always going to stop this. Somebody says, you know, they're always going to do something that they're not doing it. They're not doing it. Look, the moon card in the bottom of the deck and karma right behind it. So somebody's going to serve severe karma here or is already starting to serve karma here. Because somebody here works. You could be working your ass off while somebody here is getting, while somebody here is just doing themselves. They don't work. They don't get up. They don't do shit. They don't provide. They don't even try is what I'm getting here. This is why they're getting karma. And they're holding a lot of secrets here. So this could be you, Taurus. This could be the cross watcher. Let me see. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? I feel like you're moving good, Taurus. I feel like you're abundant. You're making money. You're about your money right now. You're saving money. You might have money in the bank. You might just be saving money to move forward to something passionate here. I know beginning that's coming in here. And, um, yeah. Like, <laughs> The Ace of Swords in reverse. So somebody here is losing it all. Or they lost it all or they don't have shit. So the Wheel of Fortune for you is moving for good karma. Somebody here is getting bad karma here and they're losing it all. They're going to lose abundance, stability, security of their house. They're going to lose it all or they already did. We're trying to fuck with you here. You know, there could be a loss here as well. For you, Taurus, because somebody here doesn't move and doesn't do anything. You're the one that provides while they sit there and gossip all day long or whatever the fuck they're doing or start problems or start fights. There's, there's a physical fight here that's, that I'm seeing that's going to happen here. You got the King of Swords in the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is very, like, in control. They want to be authority, a control figure. Like, the King of Swords doesn't work with emotions. They work with this, this, and that. Like, they have no emotions for somebody here. And somebody's tired. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The King of Pentacles. You're going to be good, bro. You're sitting in your money while somebody's losing their motherfucking money. They should never fuck with you. <laughs> You're sitting lovely right here. Okay, with possible love coming in. And the bottom of the deck, you got a whole new family coming in here. Or you have a family. And this is you and your partner that you're just going through it right now. Because there's the king of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles right here. Like you both work. You both build. You have your own house, your business, whatever it is. But I see somebody coming here that's going to make you really happy here. And, you know, to balance out your life. You know, stable, just in your favor. You got the the... The Queen of Cups here. So somebody here is about to pop a question. Here's what I just heard. Somebody's going to pop the question here of marriage. Or you popping the question. Hmm. 
Somebody could be getting married in court or just going to court just to get married. And somebody's waiting for this. If you did get married, uh, however, it was in a traditional way or just went to court and got married, my congratulations to you. And I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you, you know, a long life of love. Like, you know, our grandparents did it 70 and 80 years. That is beautiful. But somebody's going to, somebody's sitting here very abundantly or Taurus, you're going to be sitting here very abundantly. You're doing yourself. There is a perfect couple here. The Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. So you might just be dealing with somebody right now that you are stable, you are committed, you have your own home, you have everything you need. And for some of you, it's emotionally, you don't have that. You both work, you both give, you both provide, but emotionally for two people here, it's not happening. But this is also a couple that could provide together. And there's a lot of emotions here. So this could be two different scenarios. Two people that are together and they got it all. They got money. They, you know, they, they don't even got to be rich. But I don't know why I'm hearing two doctors or two people in a field is what I heard. So that's why the doctor came to my head. But there's two people in here in the same field or different fields, but they make a lot of money here. But there's more emotions that need to come out here. Somebody's really stuck in their emotions here. But you are sitting lovely here. Somebody's coming your way to give you the truth about something here. Somebody's coming your way. They want to offer you something, but they're coming with truth and clarity about something here to you that you need to know, Taurus. My bad. The five of swords here for Taurus. Why is it here? Mineta. Yeah, somebody here is hurt. Somebody here is thinking. Somebody here is in their feelings. Somebody here is in regret. Somebody here is all fucked up because they fucked up and because all they do is fight, yo. Like, who wants to be with a person that fights all day long? Who wants to be with a person that ignores a person while they're working and doing everything and they're going through it and people are going through it and keeping a person stuck and then say that you're going to change or whoever's going to change here. I'm just talking in general. I'm not talking to you, Taurus. I'm talking to you, Taurus, but I'm talking in general. Somebody says they're going to change, but they don't do that. All they do is work on themselves and don't work on somebody here. Somebody's very, very um, emotional here when it comes to love. Somebody's missing a, missing a lot of emotions here. But somebody's thinking about somebody else here. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Empress. So this could be Libra and Taurus energy. This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm not saying no more signs. I don't know why. But somebody here is... Um, you're going to be sitting here in empress mode. While somebody here is going to sit here and regret everything they've done or they're regretting everything they've done. They're going to lose everything. Abundance, stability, money, house, everything. They're going to lose it all. And they're going to continue with this bullshit of fighting and bickering with a bunch of people. And I feel like this person has a bunch of people around them. That's what they do. And that's why they're so fucked up. But you're, you're sitting like an empress here. You can't trust this person. Mm-mm. And here comes the Queen of Pentacles again. You're going to be good with somebody here. Somebody new is in the picture here that's making somebody happy here. And somebody's not liking this. There's a group of gossipers here, okay? So there's friends here that are fucking gossipers. They talk about everybody. They don't give a fuck what the consequences are. And they lie about it too. Let's just see. Let me give you one from here. What is here for Taurus? Mineta, give me something for Taurus here. Fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours. Love is, so claim what's yours. Fight for what you love. Whatever it is, a person, your family, you know, your kids, you know, a career, whatever it is, fight for what you love. Claim what's yours. Yeah, it says love is a battlefield, but this could be in any type of scenario. This could be even a person that you love or something. Like somebody here has sobered up because it's in reverse of drugs or... Uh, substances or drinking and I congratulate you if you are sobered up this might be somebody that's trying to get their you know life together right now and it's people are being hard on this person don't be hard on somebody here that's sobered up don't take somebody to to that level again let me see give me one more here for Taurus Whoa. where'd it go I'm gonna go grab my sliding chair 
I say that every day and I don't do it. Somebody is having a prior relationship here. So this could be why this is coming out too. Fight for what you love. Somebody here is either cheating or having a private relationship. Or you broke off with somebody and they're dealing with somebody else. And you really love somebody here. And it's like, it's a betrayal. Yes, I understand that. But somebody here either did something once and it's forgivable. Or something is just, somebody was trying to fight for something here and it didn't happen. Or somebody's trying to fight for somebody doing something with somebody else. And it's like they're trying to fight their way in. Or it's an out. Or somebody's walking out. Because there was betrayal here. Severe betrayal here. Let me see. Or you might just be keeping um, a relationship on the down low. You don't want nobody to know about it. Because so many envious people and gossipers and fucking... Envious as motherfuckers here, even your ex person, your person, whatever it is, that don't stop here. There is a third party involved here. I'm gonna tell you that much. There is somebody here that got it for you here. Taurus. Let me see. Give me one of these here for Taurus. Death in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to change here. You know, this is about, you know, transformation, you know, uh, moving forward, growing, and, you know, like the possibility of growing into everything when it comes to abundance, stability, whatever. But somebody here doesn't want to change. It came out of reverse. So this could be this person here. They don't want to change. And I believe so, because with all this energy I got here, somebody don't want to change here. It's like they always say they're going to change and they don't change. Let me see. The golden mirror on the bottom of the deck. A narcissist, a love bomber. One-sided relationship. So you, somebody here is a, in a one-sided relationship. What else here for Taurus? I don't know. But somebody here is fucking up really bad. The mirror in reverse camera in reverse somebody's not thinking about somebody anymore it's like the reminiscing is over i don't think about you anymore i don't want memories with you anymore like this is the past already and it's over and done with yeah you could be just leaving somebody out in the cold here or whoever whoever this is the mirror in reverse so somebody here you know is done a lot of inner inner um inner child wounds inner child wounds inner child healing or healing of traumas whatever it is somebody has completed a cycle here not completely 100 but somebody has completed a cycle here and has healed from somebody here and they're moving forward here it's over and dead it's over and gone with because somebody don't want to change here so somebody here doesn't give a fuck about somebody no more somebody's walking away and i feel like inside of them yes it hurts but i feel like this is going to be this is something already where somebody has learned how to heal themselves inside and walk away somebody's walking away here and leave me somebody has been is very toxic here let me see give me something for the cosmos here for taurus give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing so give yourself credit whatever you've gone through whatever you're going through whatever this whole situation is whatever it is in your life that hasn't come out here give yourself credit for the good work you've done, for the good things you've done. Don't only, like, you know, I don't know why I was going to say give others credit. Maybe you give others credit and you don't give yourself credit, but give yourself credit for the things you do. This is in reverse, and all my cards are upright. Speak up, speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. So somebody's not speaking here. Somebody's staying very quiet and they're not speaking on something here. When they do, all they do is lie. Let me see. That's a lot. Give <laughs> me something else here for Taurus. The universe is with you here, Taurus, on something. You're going to get um, rewarded for something here. For the great work that you've done and for the great work you're doing right now. There's something here that's telling me here that you're waiting for something and you're just sitting there waiting patiently for it to get here. It's going to get here. Okay, what does this say? It's upside down. It fell on the floor. Stop trying to um, carry the world on your shoulders. So, yeah. 
do your own thing and stop stop trying to carry the own like this is also too like when you worry about so many things like me if I see things on TV I start crying if I see the world you know everything that's going around I start crying I want to fix the whole world stop carrying the world on your shoulders and do yourself and give credit to yourself let your feelings out yeah somebody needs to talk and stop staying quiet but I feel like this is over and done with some people and a lot of you Taurus are moving forward a lot of you Taurus are abundant and somebody here is getting fucked up all kind of ways so I love you. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later, my loves.